passion to excel. Hi, welcome to the PZ Engineering Channel, Passion to Excel. In this video, we are going to show how to simulate a micro grid made of fuel cell, PV solar system, and energy storage system. Before we start our simulation, I would like first to thank everyone that have been part of our family. We are about to reach our 3,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for supporting our channel. Thank you everyone that have been donating to our channel. Thank you everyone that have been joining our membership team. Thank you, thank you everyone that have been commenting and like our videos. If you are not yet part of our family, please be part of our family by subscribing to our channel, share our content, comment and like our video. Make sure as well to click the, the belt button so that you can always have notification of our new videos. You can as well join our membership team and donate to our channel for us to continue making videos like this, guide you in your project and your dissertation. Here is our microgrid which is made by 6 kilowatt fuel cell, 85.2 PV array and we have 10 kilowatt hour energy storage system. I'll be introducing each component. Here we have our fuel cell. We can open it. We have, there we have our properties or parameters. That's a type of, you can follow it. We have our, our converter, we have our flow rate and we have our flow rate regulator. Now we go to our PV array system. There we have our user defining. You have a number of parallels, number of parallel or strings, a number of series connected. Those are the properties our of our panel that we are using. Let's just plot the current and the voltage graph, power and the voltage graph. That's an have an idea. Here we have our battery or battery energy storage system, forty-eight volt and two ten rated capacity, which total makes ten kilowatt hour. The fuel cell. And the, the fuel cell and the PV array, they share the same inverter. You, use, you are using universal bridge you can get from library browser. Here we have our three-phase parallel RLC branch. Here we have our three-phase parallel RLC branch. Here we have our three-phase breaker, normal clause. Here we have our DC to AC converter. Here we have another three phase series RLC branch. Then we have our control to control our inverter and the three phase inverter, three phase measurement. We have our the voltage that we are the, the voltage level that we want to get at the load side. There we have our reference voltage of 140. Here we have our PLL three phase mask. You can change according to this. And it's applies to our ABC to DQ transformation. And then here we have our selector. Everything you can get from library browser. Then here we have our discrete PID, PID controller, but actually it's PI controller, proportional integral values. We have our 50 e to the power minus three as a simple time.
now we go to another EQ. Now we then add EQ transformation. Now we have our PW generate. Those are the values. It goes to the, our universal bridge, universal inverter. Here we have our, as I said, our DC to AC converter from the battery. Here is our load, which is 100 kilowatt, three-phase load. We have um, our, our scopes that we are measuring our system, and we have our... Now, the idea of this system is fuel cell and our PV array, they will they supply at the same time. And what our energy storage system supplies in a certain time as well. Now we're, I'm just writing here the times that PV and the fuel cell are supplying. Let, let's just open our three phase inverter or our three phase breaker just to be sure at what time are they supplying. This switch is normal closed, which opens from 1.5 to 2. That means the battery will supply the, no, the PV array and the fuel cell will supply from 0 up to 1.5. Let's just correct here. And the battery will supply from 1.5 to 2. I can see that we put 0 0.5 to 1.5, but let's just leave it. But as we know, the battery will supply from 0. No, the fuel cell and the PV will supply from 0. 1.5 you can you can change when to any time that you want just for the sake of of not running for long please don't forget to subscribe the channel share our contents comment and like this video One over thousand just to convert it to kilo to kilowatt. Oh yeah, to kilowatt. Here we have our battery. We have our control for the battery charging and discharging. Let's run our system to see to see the behavior of our model.
Now let's check our results. As you can see here, we have preload, the load has been supplied, measure, measuring from the, the three phase measurement, and we have a preload one, which is the, the sum of the total power which is being supplied by each energy resource, which is P1. And now let's open our our scope here we have our power load that been supplied you can see that's the power load at the beginning there only PV only fuel cell is supplying and PV is not supplying fuel cell supplies lightly and PV is not supplying The same apply the same applies here. As we can see, the battery only supplies from 1.5 to 2. At the fuel cells, there is is, is is measuring the same. Fuel cells measure the same, but when when the PV is not supplying, fuel cell is the only one is supplying. 